They say truth is a matter of perspective, but that perspective is based on fragments of the truth. And sometimes they are not true at all, but our own beliefs, or rather, what we have been led to believe. We live in a world where information is plentiful, yet ignorance is ever more bliss. The topic of Al Mahdi is no stranger to this conundrum, and history has shown the exhilarated fascination the Muslim and non-Muslim has had with this prophetic character. The Mahdi will be a messianic figure. He will be a descendant of Muhammad. He will take control of the world. He will establish a new world order. He will destroy all who resist him. He will invade many nations. He will make a seven-year peace treaty with the Jews. He will rule for seven years, establish Islam as the only religion. He will come on a white horse with supernatural power he will be loved by all people on earth. Who's the 12th Imam? <laughs> you know how I feel about the 12th Imam in Iran. How are you walking around not telling me that? Through history, we have seen countless self-proclaimed Mahdis who either by desperation or selfish pursuits have laid claim to being the Mahdi and discovered a following among the uninformed masses seeking enlightenment from the heavens, but instead were led to ruin with falsehood, blasphemy, and indoctrination. In this age, it is apparent that the situation of mankind is in degradation. There is widespread oppression, wrongdoing, and injustice to such an extent that majority of the scholars are in consensus that almost all of the minor signs have occurred. And as the final hour approaches, the big question on everyone's mind is, where is the Mahdi? An Abi Huraira radiallahu anhu Annahu qal Inna Allah yabba'asu li hazihi al-umma Ala ra'si kulli mi'ati sana to answer where is the Mahdi, we must first examine the features and characteristics of this individual in the light of Quran, Hadith, and theology. The views and opinions of the scholars and intellectuals should also be examined to properly articulate the Hadith, Dafsirs, and academic articles. The Mahdi, Arabic for the guided one, is a prophetic deliverer from the progeny of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, who will fill the earth with justice and equity and restore the true religion and usher in a golden age lasting close to a decade. He is also the harbinger for the second coming of Jesus, peace be upon him. The advent of the Mahdi is the link between the minor signs and the major signs of the Day of Judgment. The Prophet وسلم, said, if only one day of this world remained, Allah would lengthen that day, till He raised up in it a man who belongs to me or to my family. Regarding Mahdi's name, scholars generally agree that his name may be Muhammad ibn Abdullah. However, after revisiting the Hadith, we can understand the Hadith from a more accurate perspective. The Hadith reads, Prophet Muhammad wasallam said, Even if only one day were to remain, in the life of this world, Allah will lengthen that day to bring out from concealment a man from my family and whose name matches my name and the name of his father matches the name of my father. Abu Sufyan's version says, The world will not pass away before the Arabs are ruled by a man of my family whose name will be the same as mine. And Abu Dawood mentions that the version of Abu Bakr and Umar radiallahu anhu are the same. Another hadith states that 
The Prophet ﷺ said, The hour will not rise until a man from my family will appear and his name matches my name. Although Rasulullah ﷺ had the name Muhammad, he mentioned in a hadith that, I have five names. I am Muhammad and Ahmad. I am Al-Mahi, through whom Allah will eliminate infidelity. I am Al-Hashir, who will be the first to be resurrected, the people being resurrected thereafter. And I am also Al-Aqib, there will be no prophets after me. After collectively examining these hadith, we can narrow the name of the Mahdi to be Muhammad, Ahmad, Al-Mahi, Al-Hashir, or Al-Aqib, as Muhammad himself stated that these are his names. However, the general consensus of the ulama is in fact that the name of the Mahdi is Muhammad due to the nature of the other hadiths being very specific regarding the first name of the Mahdi. The name of the Mahdi's predecessor, father. Regarding the name of the Mahdi's father, Muhammad wasallam mentioned that his father's name is like my father's name and his father's name will be compatible with my father's name. He wasallam also mentioned that the Mahdi's name agrees with mine and the name of his father with that of my father and the name of his father matches the name of my father. Lastly, we find in the hadith that the name of the Mahdi's father is the same as the name of the Prophet Muhammad Wasallam's father, Abdullah. Based on this information, the name of the Mahdi's father should be like, be compatible with, agree with, match, or be the same as the name Abdullah, which means servant of Allah. In the Muslim world, theophoric names are formed by prefixing the term Abd, meaning slave or servant of, to the name of Allah. In the case of male names, this distinction is established out of respect for the sanctity of Allah's divine names. In Surah Al-A'raf, The Heights, verse 180, Allah says, To Allah belong the best names, so invoke Him by them. So when we call out, Ya Rahman, or Ya Aziz in our duas, we are still calling out to Allah. And Muhammad wasallam also affirmed that Allah has 99 names. Therefore, the name of the Mahdi's father could also correspond to any one of the 99 names of Allah. For example, we have the name Abdullah, but if we say Abdul Hadi, servant of the guide, Abdul Ghani, servant of the all-sufficient, or Abdul Karim, servant of the giver, it is essentially the same thing, as all names are implying servant of Allah. Changing the name from Allah to any of his 99 names doesn't change the overall subject, as the final name will match the name slave of Allah, regardless of which of the 99 names of Allah is being used, as those names solely belong to Allah Azza wa Jal. In conclusion, the name of the Mahdi could be a combination of any of the following, as long as the first name is from among the names of Prophet Muhammad wasallam, and his father's name is like, compatible with, agrees with, or matches the name Abdullah, and Allah knows best. An Anas ibn Malik radiyallahu anhu qal, لأحدثنكم حديثا لا يحدثكم أحد بعد سمعت رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول من أشراط الساعة أن يقل العلم ويظهر الجهل